Casino Royale. Okay, so imagine, if you will, if um, one uh, for one adventure, uh, James Bond couldn't make it. Okay, he was occupied, so they had to get you know a replacement. So unfortunately, they were only able to get somebody along the lines of, let's say, Mr. Bean. Yeah. <laughs> or perhaps uh, he's somebody, good. He's good. He's good. He's in a way. Yeah, yeah. He get, for what he does. Yeah. And uh, Cluso, or somebody like you know, somebody, or or maybe maybe you, for example, you know, Eric, uh, you know, uh, maybe. <laughs> I'd love to help. You're just trying to help. You know. So here's a song uh, about. Uh, here's a song about the incompetent spy. <laughs> I I I love her. No. Review. 
oh well, I guess it's only a job. And in the meantime, I've still got a pair of x-ray glasses that can see through thick and thin. They can even see the thoughts inside of your head. They give me an incredible advantage, and I would have the leading edge. That is, if I hadn't left them back home beside my bed. On an evening train to Paris, France, I met a very, very, very pretty stranger. And though my heart cared for romance, I knew she could be danger. But then we had a few drinks, and one thing led to another, and I wanted to impress her, so I said, I've got a motor vehicle that can fly or turn into a submarine. It's the sleekest piece of bulletproof fiberglass that you have ever seen. And in the top secret world of Spider, I would be a rising star. If I had to lock my bloody keys inside my awesome car, and if I could just refrain from getting in my awesome car on the wrong side, and therefore getting ejected by the rejection seat, I keep forgetting that in England they drive on the other side of the street. And because they do, I've been in quite a few minor traffic accidents, plus a few relatively insignificant head-on collisions, but <laughs> let's not even go there. Well, by this time my lady friend was really quite impressed. And the love that I was feeling really put me to the test. Oh no, I hate tests. I'm not very good at them. And so it was that in the depth of my deep romantic bliss, I told her everything I knew, which wasn't much, in exchange for a key. Well, she almost kissed me. I guess things just didn't turn out as well as I had hoped. Well, I know you're probably asking yourself just what was this guy thinking? Pulling your hair out and asking why, why, why? I've been asking myself the same question and I guess the only answer is simply the fact that I am secret agent 13. I am a dangerous living guy. And I'm otherwise known as the incompetent spy. Yay, 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 yay. The incompetent spy. Yay, yay, yay. The incompetent spy. The incompetent spy. Utterly incompetent spy. Abysmally incapable spy. The incompetent spy. The incompetent spy. Five. Is that it or one more or what do you